Good evening. Welcome to Denmark and Thailand. My name is Michael Winter and I'm the ambassador of Denmark to Thailand, also to Cambodia. I'll be your host tonight, but don't worry, you won't hear a lot from me, only this introduction. Thanks for coming and showing so strong an interest in tonight's agenda. A special welcome to Anne-Marie Dalgaard, who is the Secretary General of Danes Worldwide. I want to thank the organizers, the, of course, uh, Danes Worldwide, the Chamber of Commerce, and also uh, the Thai Danish Association and uh, the CM Society. Thank you very much. Give a hand to our sponsors and organizers, please. Your Excellency, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, Dear friends, my name is Mai Elegor and I'm the local representative of Danes Worldwide in Thailand. I'm also a member of the board of the Danish Thai Chamber of Commerce. But today, I'm not only he here uh, because of that, I'm also here as a mother. I'm here as a Danish citizen abroad. We uh, have a lot of important issues to uh, talk about today, and I'm not going to talk very long because uh, I think uh, Anne-Marie needs her time. I hope that today, that is not only going to be that we are going to have some food, but we're also going to get some food for thought uh, regarding our situation as Danes abroad, as uh, as well as uh, Danish-related uh, families in, in Thailand. Thanks to Danish Women's Network, the Scandinavian Society of Siam, Danish Thai Club, and Copenhagen Goodwill Ambassadors, everybody have done their part of making today happen. Danes Worldwide is an organization, uh, and I hope that some of you could consider after this that you would join to be a member of Danes Worldwide because together we are strong. Tonight could be a new starting point of making a new group which can supplement our wonderful organizations that we already have. Thank you, Anne-Marie, for passing by to Bangkok, finally. And you can probably see that with the amount of interest that people today, that it's very much appreciated. <laughs> Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for all of you to turn up here. Uh, I'm really, really uh, overwhelmed. I'm really pleased to be here. I'm very happy it was possible. And I must say, I'm very happy that so many of you took an evening out of your busy schedules to be here with us tonight. So thank you very much. Danes Worldwide is an old organization. We've been existing for almost 100 years. Uh, we, were, we have always been a privately founded and privately driven organization, so a member driven organization. Uh, we were originally founded by a lot of the large companies that send out people to destinations far away. We are not talking about only Danes being expatriated, we are talking about global Danes, global people who have families from all over the world, and who somehow have a connection to Denmark or a love for or an interest in Danish society, Danish language and culture. So we're really changing from being an, a Danish expat organization to taking care of globally oriented people and their families. We are a lobby organization, a member-driven member organization where we take care of a lot of political issues on the agenda issues that are of interest to all you out here in the world. Uh, we also have support to our members. We have networking and we have, uh, of course, some communication activities. So that's a member organization on one side. We're one of the largest um, uh, offerers of Danish education. So this is the second issue I'm going to talk about. We have a number of activities that we've been working on. Uh, some people here were kind to, to mention the dual citizenship issue. This has been at the heart of Danes worldwide. 
for a number of years. And we were so pleased last December when just a few days before the, uh, the Christmas, the parliament in Denmark adopted the legislation allowing dual citizenship to take place. We are fighting for better conversion of the International Baccalaureate, so the IB that Klaus, uh, Klaus Stuve was talking about. We are fighting for maintaining your right to vote at parliamentary elections. We're working also on fair and transparent family reunification legislation so we can get our spouses back to Denmark. I would like to say that in one of our surveys uh, it was revealed that 49% of our members are married to a non-Dane. I would like just to attach a few words to the new legislation on dual citizenship. As you probably know, it just entered into force last month on September 1st. Uh, for people who had given up their Danish citizenship in order to become citizen in their country of residence, they now have five years to regain their lost Danish citizenship. So kids with a Danish passport born abroad of at least one Danish parent still need to maintain your Danish citizenship before you turn 22. So this has not changed and this is extremely important that you're looking into maintaining the citizenship of your children. So if we move on with what Danes Worldwide is doing towards our members, uh, we have a very large service of advice and guidance. Uh, we take care of uh, hardcore issues on legal matters, tax issues, pension rights, etc. But we also focus a lot on the soft values because we have actually always been focusing very much on families. So um, the soft values are, for instance, how do I prepare my children or my foreign spouse or my old parents that now we are relocating from one destination to perhaps you're going to Bogota the next time or you're moving to Tokyo. Uh, it's not always so easy for the accompanying family and there are a lot of cultural issues to take care of. We have experts who can help with that. Speak with them, send them a mail or organize a Skype call. They are there for you. We have issues about personal security. If you're being posted in a country where uh, there are issues with your personal safety, then uh, you might want to hear what our guy, our expert has to say on this. So you're better prepared how to behave. We have networking activities. Uh, we have a number of voluntary representatives living throughout the world and representing Danes worldwide locally. Here in, in Bangkok, it's my Elegor. Again, thank you so much, Mai, because if we had not had you here, it would never have been possible to make such a fantastic arrangement. So thank you to you for organizing this in cooperation with, with all our sponsors and co-organizers for tonight. Our initiative takers to, to events, they know about issues that Danes care about. It could be everything from where you get your licorice or rye bread to how do you register your car. Uh, where's a doctor who speaks a language that I can also communicate in? Uh, help, uh, the cooling doesn't work, what do I do? Um, there are a lot of practical issues that it's actually quite good to speak about and get somebody who might help you. We had a summer school in Denmark where we have kids from all over the world flying in. Uh, we had for many, many years uh, the capacity of about 370 kids. So we changed the schools and uh, made arrangements with larger schools. So now we can have 450 kids. Uh, we have children from the age of nine up till 18 and we have children and youngsters on all levels of Danish. They get together with a lot of kids and youngsters in exactly the same boat as you are yourself. And we see what strong friendships are being created throughout the summer school. And of course we've been helped by the social media that a lot of the kids are maintaining their friendships throughout the year and next summer they meet again at the summer school. When I heard about the summer school, I thought about it for a while and I finally said yes. 
I didn't actually have anything against uh, being away from home or something, but I just wasn't used to being away for a long period of time. I thought the summer school sounded fun, and so I finally decided to actually go. I really liked being there. For one thing, the food is really good. We learned about four to five hours of Danish and uh, grammar, it, but it's educational but still super fun and the teachers and staff are really funny and nice. I love the summer school and I would definitely and I will go back next year. It confirms what I see at the, the last day of school. Uh, I, I hardly can't help crying myself when I see all the kids hugging each other and saying goodbye and say, see you next year. We offer uh, materials school level Danish from what would be, I think, grade 1 to 10 out here. It's called 0 to 9 in Denmark. Um, and we end this whole activity in, after the ninth grade with um, a certificate, the graduation certificate after the ninth grade. And that is always taken at the summer school where we have sensors from the Ministry of uh, Education coming out and testing our students. We also have the possibility to provide instruction material to local groups of Danes who employ a teacher here locally. Uh, and we provide all the material, so we will provide uh, the books, we will provide those films that we are producing for the online Danish courses. They are films about Danish culture. But these films, they are a part of our package. Whenever you join the group instruction or the online instruction, these films can be streamed for all the students and their parents, and you can sit together on the couch and watch these films together and have half an hour of film evening and you have a completely new issue to talk about at home and thereby expanding the vocabulary of not only yourself but also your children. We developed this online beginner course. As you see, it's, uh, it's quite cute. It's, uh, it's directed to children in the age of 6 to 12, but mind you, uh, I have a lot of uh, foreign diplomats in Copenhagen who buy this to be able to speak a little bit of Danish, just on a basic level, or to speak, uh, to learn some Danish together with their kids. Next month, we will be opening uh, a kind of user advisory in cooperation with Danish students abroad. And why do we do this? Um, we do it because it's no secret that Danes worldwide has a lot of focus on children. So we have a lot of family members and so we have members in the age group up to 17, 18, and we have members who are in their 30s or 40s, but we have a big gap in the student period or those uh, that are just graduating. Uh, but they are members of Danish students abroad, and they can do some things that we can't do. So together, again, together we are strong. So we have linked up with Danish students abroad. We know that throughout the world there are a lot of spouses who are very talented in many matters and whom we want to create a, a job, job bank for. We have gone together with the Danish Ministry of Foreign Affairs, with the Confederation of Danish Industry, Confederation of Lawyers and, the, and Economists and the Association of Engineers. And when we get this project funded, and I hope it will be soon, uh, then we will make a LinkedIn database where all jobs will be posted and where all the CVs of accompanying spouses can be put in. And the money we need is for the, a coordinator to make sure that we are matching these requirements. Uh, we are moving on. We are really trying to be dynamic and try to listen to the needs of our members out here in the world. This is where we are today, uh, and I hope to be twice as many members next time I'm here. Thank you.